Well, we got the season off to uh, off to a good start this weekend on Friday in Iowa City. Uh, it's it's one of those you know the first meet of the year you learn a lot about the new new people on the team they haven't had a chance to see in the purple and gold uh, get a chance to see how they work together as a team and so that's kind of the focus going in was to try to run as a team and to kind of build on that a lot of new faces on both teams and so it was uh, it was exciting to see those kids in the in the purple and gold for the first time uh, representing UNI athletics so uh, overall I was really pleased with with how it went uh, on the women's side. Um, Gabby Champlin was our top runner, uh, followed by Alyssa Williams and Gabby Skopek. Uh, always fun for Gabby Skopek to be down there. She's an Iowa City uh, grad, and so for her to be in her hometown was, was a lot of fun for her. Uh, but we had about a 20-second spread between our, our first runner and our fifth runner, and so that's, uh, that's what you want. You want to have those runners, like, tightly packed together. It was even better uh, in our first four. We were 13 seconds apart in our top four. And so we need to continue to work on uh, working that down. That was one of our biggest uh, strengths last year as a team was having such a tight spread. And so we're going to keep uh, working on that. Uh, on, the, on the men's side, uh, Walcott, uh, he redshirted last year. This is uh, his first time uh, representing UNI. He's a junior college All-American uh, from NIAC. And so to have him out there, he was our top uh, top runner, finishing the top 10 there. Uh, then followed by Alex Jackson, who's a senior. Then we had a couple of freshmen, uh, Sam McCool, and Drake Hendricks, uh, and so you know, in our top four runners, we had three guys that weren't even running for the for the program last year, and so that's exciting because we have uh, a lot of new energy, a lot of, uh, just a lot of newness and excitement uh, going out those. Plus, we have a, a good blend of veterans as well with CJ May, uh, who who had a good race as well. And so, uh, again, on that side, we had a 20 second spread bef between our number one and our number three, and so we have to work on our, our four, five, six, and seven guys to move up a little bit. But there's a lot of time to do that, and so we're looking really be in peak shape, you know, once middle October rolls around. But uh, overall, first meet of the year, uh, really pleased. We only had a couple weeks of practice under our belts, and so it's just kind of one of those uh, things to get out there and you learn a lot about your team and kind of move from there. So uh, we. Take this week off. Uh, we just get a good block of training in, and then we'll be at Bradley uh, next week uh, over there. Uh, we get to go to Bradley. I mean, they host the regional meet and the conference meet, and so that's two meets that are automatically on the schedule to start with. Uh, and then we always go to their Bradley Classic meet, which is a really strong competition. Uh, and so we always like to go to that one. So that puts us there three times. And then the one we're going at next week, uh, it just kind of fit well with our schedule. It's it's um, you know you want to go on that every other week type of a type of a deal with cross country. It gives you a good block of training as you head in. Uh, it's hard to race week in and week out uh, just because you're running you know, 8,000 meters on the men's side, 5,000 meters. So you want to have the ability to put a good block of training in. And so that meet just kind of fit well with our schedule. Uh, in years past, we kind of, we'd gone to Notre Dame, but we felt like that meet was kind of um, not what we needed to get in this year. And so we, we opted to kind of switch it around a little bit. But yeah, we'll be very familiar with Bradley, which is okay. I mean, they're, they're picked to win both the men and the women's side. And so for us to get our kids around that team as many times as possible is going to be a good thing.